the head gate is very simple. I mean, it's something new that we've just come out with uh, and patented. Uh, it is very, as you can see, from a safety standpoint to an individual, I can open and close it with just a matter of a couple fingers. If I would happen to leave it out here and I want to leave it open like that, I can drop the handle down. It's out of sight where, again, the individual doesn't get hurt or, or possibly you could have animals run by it and create a problem if it was in this position. Uh, there's not a lot to it other than the fact that we do have uh, spring loaded on our head gate so that we absorb some of the shock in the head gate and make the animals a little safer so that we don't hurt their shoulders when they come in. Some animals will come in and hit that head gate a little harder. Uh, as we found in a lot of different animals, different breeds do things differently and different animals do too within the same group. So it makes it a little nicer for the safety of the animal so that they don't get hurt. What we try and do is build everything with the idea of the animal first and then the humans too uh, from a safety standpoint. The chute is a mirror image on both sides of what you might have. We can open up the whole chute thusly and let animals out the side if we wanted to or we could even sort out if we'd like to because of the side door. And we can close that up if we need to. Then we have a bottom door. You can call it a nursing door or whatever where if you needed to nurse calves you can bring calves in, push them up against the door, get your knee in behind them and push them up against the cow to work them or whatever. Works very nice for that. You also have good access to the feet and legs of the animal where you can work on them. As I said earlier, the chute on this side is a mirror image of what the other side is. What I can do here, I can do on the other side. Be it the palpation doors and or my doors, I can open this up. You can have a look at what we call our slick door in the back, which is a kind of a unique feature, which we can open up from here. It let's animals come in and as they clear the back door, you can release it, let it go close behind them and lock them, in the, lock them into the front section. That door locks itself out so that animals can't run up the back of you if you were doing uh, AI work or, or any kind of palpation uh, work on cattle in there. And you had to be a veterinary or an individual in behind the animals. Our squeeze alley behind it is kind of unique in its own features also. Um, we've made the alley so that we have a drop door on the side here so that you can go in and work on the animals. A lot of times in this particular hour we have it set up so a scale system can be in here. Scale systems are good behind here because now I weigh the animal when I go into my chute. I also know exactly how much antibiotic can be used in that animal. Uh, the worst thing you can do is not put enough antibiotic in the animal. The second worst thing is put too much in there and your costs go out the ceiling. So, Nice to have a scale system, a system like you see in front of you here and with a tub behind it or a buddy box system uh, that you can be made. Uh, typically if you have a hundred cow herd and you run your cows through twice a year doing deworming and vaccinations, your calves the same way, in two years time I can pay for a system like this. Uh, that does not even include the damages that can come to animals and or the humans that are working around it. That is just in, uh, in the cost of the equipment and the savings in being able to have the animals properly weighed, diagnosed, and uh, handled and administered to products. Our alley uh, has the ability to squeeze down from a width, a maximum width of like 29 inches when it's wide open all the way down to 16 inches, uh, which typically is very good in, a, in an alley system. Um, so that your animals move through there in a nice even flow. We can take our alley and you can see it's very easy to move by just, I can do it from over here even, I can open it back up, thusly lock it back in place from here even. Now I'm at full open, I can adjust my back up, no back bar, to fill more to the center of it so an animal couldn't go through it if I was working cows and full mature animals through here and it's in the upper position for cattle or whatever. For cows I might have this up a little bit higher or whatever as opposed to which I can adjust off my upper chain. At the same time I can take this bar, I can move it over if I want to narrow it all the way up for these heifers, maybe more like what we were doing, or I can drop it all the way down to the next level which then I can put in calves and work, you know, lighter weight calves. The scale tray that we have for it is a flat scale tray that goes in the bottom here. Um, we have it preset up for either Gallagher sale, scale systems, True Test, or Digistar. Um, so it's kind of a flexibility versatile uh, type object. If you already have scales, you can mount them directly into ours. All you would need is our, our alley and our uh, tray to go in it. 
because of the squeeze, not all trays will go into ours and have the clearance to swing over the top. When you're all done with it, you can just put her back up, lock her in place, and we're good to go.